Oh, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. We've had two cards flip out already. This is a, a love reading for you. Uh, it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So just take the bits that, that feel right if some parts don't feel right. And uh, I'm doing slightly different format today because I do really like this Celtic cross spread. So I'm just going to try it a bit differently and see how we go. So what can we get for Scorpio? Let's just shuffle for you for a sec, Scorpio. So this is love and relationships. Doesn't have to necessarily be romantic, but it, it can be. <laughs> can be so you probably do have a person that comes to mind or you already have in your mind so we'll see how we go just got to get some Scorpio energy in here for you Scorpio okay brilliant Okay, let's start, shall we? So, oh, we have the Tower and the Nine of Swords, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, the Devil, the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so they're your cards. Let's pull cards for them. The Page of Cups. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, the Devil with the Three of Swords. Ouch, Scorpio. Okay, uh, the Hermit, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Oh, okay. Gosh, and at the bottom of the reading, the Knight of Cups. So there is, there's a lot of... There's a lot of chaos in this reading, but there is a lot of love as well. So there seems to be a lot of um, conflict in terms of emotions. So the situation, we have the King of Pentacles, a real Taurian energy crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. This is something that that should be stable, feels stable, but yet it's missing it's it's finding it hard to it's being crossed by stability it's almost like it's become too rigid scorpio when we have the 10 of the king of pentacles sorry crossed by the 10 of pentacles it's like there's too much focus as well on on the material rather than other things in the relationship. And it can be that I'm just getting all these restrictions around this as well. It's just it feels like it could also be one person's rules that you're living by and I actually don't feel like they're yours, Scorpio. I feel like this is the other person that you're dealing with could definitely be a Taurus, but if it isn't, then it's just that King of Pentacles energy here. So there's, yeah, there is... There's stability, but it's to the point of being confining and um, feeling restricting, feeling like you just can't move within this. So this is what's appearing on the surface for you guys. You are the tower and they are the page of cups. You are just like blowing your top here going, I can't live in these conditions. I can't live with this restriction. I can't live in somebody else's rules all the time. And they're like, I'm really sorry. I'm really, they're apologizing here. I'm really sorry. They're not, this um, energy from you is really unexpected as well. It's kind of like they, are, I get very much that they've, their needs have been met. It's all been about their, it might be, it's all about their house rules. It's their furniture. It's that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, they're definitely, they do love you and you're just kind of like, I'm not putting up with this, whatever it is. So you're just exploding here with this tower energy and shaking up all those rules that are really constricting. And, you know, this this person, it could very much be a fixed sign actually um, as well. So this is the thing is they've just got this energy of not moving and wanting to conform all the time and just very much stuck in the status quo and that's too rigid for you, Scorpio. So at the bottom of the base of the issue, something that's happening very deep down is it's causing you a lot of sleepless nights, some stress, 
even some anxiety or depression, like some negative thoughts racing around your head. Uh, just I'm just getting a lot of anguish and stress with this. It can be the Nine of Swords energy as well. That's you're the Nine of Swords, and the other person is the Ten of Wands. Is very much um, this sense of yeah, it's just. It's kind of keeping you up. It's stressing you out, but it can also be unreal feel fears. But I do feel like this person feels like they can't see where this is heading. They feel like they've taken on a lot of responsibility within this relationship or it's become a bit of a burden to them, this sense of trying to provide maybe or, or be the stable one and or it, it's deep down they are actually overburdened by this restriction as well. So it's almost like you're needed to free them from this energy of not being able to go with the flow and go change, go with the, cho with the, the, the flow with change, Scorpio. So this is the recent past. Here you are, the magician, and they are the knight of wands. So they've definitely been the one there's very much like they actually <laughs> they actually really liked you. Sorry, Scorpio, I got interrupted for a second. So this is the recent past, the energy that's leaving. So I feel like they've got a lot of desire and passion for you. They're moving very closely towards you. They really, really desire you. They want you. They want to be with you. So if it's not sexual or anything like that, it's like they definitely – want you in their life they're like charging straight for you and you're kind of like yes that's fine but I've got my own ways of you know I am my own little entity I've got my own little boundary around myself I'm fairly self-contained I have everything that I need in front of me so you're like yes it's really wonderful having you in my life that's that's great but I am the magician you know I can I've kind of got my own set of rules that I live by and so that's why it's like confining. It's really, yeah, it feels really restrictive to have to live by someone else's rules because you've kind of already worked it out yourself. So we have in the near future, we have you have the three of pentacles and they've got the five of cups. Look, I feel like, you know, for some of you, this could be you just going, no, I don't want this relationship as it stands. And so, and I can't, it can't work like this for me. And so for them, there's this sense of disappointment and loss that feels like they've been almost rejected, a little bit hurt. It could have brought up a past hurt because they're feeling like, what's wrong with me? Why don't they want me? Why don't they like me just how I am? And they're not kind of understanding they need to be a bit more flexible in this arrangement. And for you, you know, it actually works out pretty well, speaking your mind or exploding or just saying, I can't live within those confines. And it actually brings you back to being yourself again, feeling like you being recognized for you, that you can actually showcase who you are and and create success through that. So it's very much you've suddenly got the freedom to express yourself here and show how unique you are. You don't, yeah, it's just these rules and restrictions. And so this is you guys in the situation here, the devil and the three of swords. So you're the devil and they're the three of swords. Can you, uh, like, that's a, that's a combination right there, Scorpio. Devil energy is also very Capricorn energy, but it's very much often, you know, the devil is being stuck, but I often get the interpretation of the devil of him putting his hand up and saying, no, I don't want to be bound and chained to this person as it is. And this is, I really felt, because there is always a positive and a neg neg negative side to every card, Scorpio. And I'm getting that that's obviously causing a bit of heartache for this other person. You standing up for yourself and saying you're not accepting and you want some more flexibility, you want to live by your own rules or your own, you need to find your own freedom within the relationship uh, is causes them heartache. They, it, 
Yes, yeah, thank you. The roosters in the background. It's very much a, a deep down hurt it's triggered here of feeling rejected. Okay. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm just getting... The, one of the positive sides of the devil is it actually gives, um, there is this sense of I'm not going to be punished like this and almost like for them it feels like it's receiving some kind of punishment here. I'm just getting the words punishment. There's something, a dynamic of that around this, but it, it feels very much like it's not actually there's a lot of confusion and murkiness and toxicity within just the dynamic as it is at this moment. There's misunderstandings are leading to this and no one's trying to punish someone else. Someone's just standing up for what they what they need in a relationship, what they want, and then the other person's like, I'm feeling like I'm being punished and hurt and all this sort of stuff and it's that kind of energy happening. So how they feel about you and how you feel about them. You're just wanting a break from this at this moment in time with that Four of Swords energy. You're just saying, I need some time out, time out. I need to regain some perspective. I need to some recovery time around this. And they're very much, you know, this hermit feeling very alone, uh, feeling like they're doing a bit of soul searching, looking for some answers. They're feeling... There, there's definitely uh, a disconnect happening between these two. There's a break of some sort happening here. So, yeah. So let's look at the hopes and fears around this. And we have the Five of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. You want it to change. And this is the whole big thing. You want change. That brings in vibrancy for you you need that otherwise you feel like I said stifled and so you're wanting this to change and evolve but for them they're just seeing conflict because they're so rigid <laughs> kind of in the way they're seeing it they're just seeing as maybe you being difficult or just seeing the conflict around it rather than seeing it from the bigger picture that there is opportunity here to for your relationship to evolve if you can actually sit down and look at each other's needs and meet them and accept each other's rules and ways of being in life. So, yeah. But we have for the outcome. For you, it actually looks like it resolves here, Scorpio, which is interesting. I think your person is actually... I, I feel like there's a whole new... There's a resolution and it's kind of coming back together again here for you you're saying this is a new beginning and this is how I want it to be and this is very much you um feeling the fresh energy I feel like you're the catalyst for change here you're kind of shaking it, this relationship up because you know it needs to have some fresh air coming through it otherwise it's stagnating and then for them they finally come around and they've got the two of cups. So it's like, you know, they actually do really love you, Scorpio. They do. There's there's definite love here and we have, you know, as the base of the issue, the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, I think definitely it's going to have a, a reconciliation. I think they finally will realise they have to be not quite so bullheaded. They have to compromise is the big word and be a bit more flexible here. So I'm just going to pull one card for each of you, a message from the universe from the animal spirit cards. Okay, we have here the fish and the crocodile. So I feel like you're the fish and they're the crocodile. We've got two water signs here, which is wonderful because it, you know, it's your, you're a water element. So it's very, um, very complimentary energy for you. I feel like they are the crocodile. So they are going to have to wait they need to wait for you to go on this. You need to kind of go on your own journey. You've got your own struggles. You've got your own things. You're trying to rise up and above this feeling of being stuck and being in the dark. And so you're kind of swimming against the tide here. You are pushing the boundaries. You are saying, 
I need more. I want more. And they're kind of just looking at you. They actually really want you. They do really love you. But they're like, I'm willing to wait for you. And so even if there is a break, they can still exist half in and half out. They can still kind of, even though you might be having some sort of, and when I say break, it doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. It's more like a distance between you. So it could be energetic or just a break from the conflict for the moment. So, but it can be a bit of a breakup for some of you, like, but it does get back together again. But for them, even if it looks like they have one, even if, and this could, obviously these can be reversed, but I think one person, even if they're pretending that they're kind of having a break, they're really very still invested in the relationship. So, yeah, they still have their eye on you big time with that crocodile energy. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense, Scorpio. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.